And how much does she weigh? Twelve and a half pounds. Oh, gosh, she looks heavier in than Alaska. That. Everything's built for flight. Lightweight feathers, hollow bones. Mm. Everything's built so they can just get up there and sail around in the air, not have to flap all the time like a goose. Mm. Here in the desert, a female weighs in at about eight to nine pounds. She's from Wisconsin, and in Alaska, fifteen to sixteen pounds and eight feet wide. <laughs> Okay. Oh. oh, this is bougie. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Oh, it's decorated. Right here, yeah, table five. So your outdoor car is going to be back through these doors. You'll have this car and that car to move about freely once we get going. And your bathroom is going to be at the end of this car on the left-hand side. It is a beautiful ride. Uh, you return customers and, and you newcomers are in for a, a treat today as we have a very beautiful canyon that we're very proud of out there. Um, a lot of history here with these tracks as well, as they were laid over 100 years ago to take the minings out of Jerome. They, this was the only way to take the copper out of this valley, uh, but way back when. So I will be coming through to take drink orders. I have lead in or unleaded drinks. And uh, let's see, plenty of ice and water for you guys. <laughs> Cheers! We're leaving! Oh, wait, what? They're drinking. <laughs>
arrived in 1900 and they still live here today raising cattle. Their house and their barn is on the other side of the river there. So if he wasn't busy enough, then when Mr. Clark laid these tracks to haul his copper ore from 1912 to about 52 when the mine shut down, they also had a working relationship with the copper train. The copper train was a slow train so it needed water and it would stop back there where you saw that brown framework that was a water tower the train would stop and get water go on up to drake drop their copper ore when they came back through they would stop again this white hill over here is, was a limestone quarry the perkins family was slaking that lime the slaked lime would be picked up by the copper train and taken back to clarkdale it was used as a flux in the smelter so the other buildings that you see right here were also used during that time. That first long, low building was a section house used by ranch and railroad workers. This pile of cement and dirt right here is where the station master's house was. That burned down in 2014, unfortunately. If you look at some of the older pictures, though, at our depot museum or in the rail magazine, you'll see the station master's house still there. The last building here is our historic depot as a school and a post office at different times. is that way. So we will move back that way before we go back the way we came and we'll set up into a pigeon car down here. Back 
to the train station, I'll share a little bit of this Lemonade! <laughs> I know. We're going back. That was awesome. <laughs>